Knights may have wielded considerable power in the 1500s, but they also risked life and limb. A mercenary German knight named Gotz von Berlichingen lost his hand during a siege, but a replacement prosthetic hand made of iron enabled him to keep fighting until the age of 64. The second version of his prosthesis is even said to have let this German Robin Hood hold a lance or shield, grip the reins of his horse and even hold a pen. While prostheses had been used since the Dark Ages, in the form of hooks or pegs, the Renaissance led to the development of lifelike hands made of metal or wood, some with intricate mechanisms inside like von Berlichingen's. Stories vary about how the German knight lost his hand. He fought on behalf of whichever Bavarian duke or baron had the most cash, or the largest score to settle, as well as defending peasants, Atlas Obscura reported. While fighting for Albert IV, the Duke of Bavaria in 1504, 23 year old von Berlichingen was hit by a cannonball. Some say it hit his arm, causing the mercenary to cut off his own right hand, while others say the flying ball ripped the lower part of limb off itself. To enable him to keep fighting, the knight got a prosthetic hand with two hinges at the palm, which enabled him to hold a sword again and continue to lead his men into battle. Dr. Sharon Rahm wrote in an article published in Plastic and Reconstructive Surgery that von Berlichingen was able to keep fighting, gambling and money lending, gaining a reputation as a Robin Hood who protected the peasants against their oppressors. However, it was rather clunky. He later upgraded to a finer and more flexible model of hand with joints at each of the knuckles for a tighter, lockable grip. The prosthesis covered much of his lower arm and was secured with leather straps. According to an article in the American Journal of Surgery, von Berlichingen could use his new hand to hold a sword and even a quill thanks to the spring-loaded mechanism inside. It was able to lock the fingers in place and resembled the mechanism used in handcuffs. The unique hand is kept at a castle in Jagstfossen in Baden-Württemberg, where the knight was born. Guts of the Iron Hand kept fighting until the age of 64 and was even involved in the imperial invasion of France. He died in 1562 at the age of 82. When he retired, he penned an autobiography, which was later published in 1731 and inspired a play by Johann Wolfgang von Goethe. In it, the knight is a tragic figure who dies young and includes the line most associated with von Berlichingen. The tale goes that when ordered to surrender, he said, Er aber, sag's ihm, er kann mich im Arsch lecken which translates as, tell him he can kiss my ass.